They also ran out of protonics and forgot to. Oh, sorry. Who was prescribing the protonics? The GI doctor? Yeah, I think it's his name. Are you still seeing that person? Maybe you can go back and have a scope. Well, here's the problem. And Jews can tell you more about that. I'll be interested in what I know. Well, call <laughs> medical group, doctor. Okay, so you were seeing GI through Buffalo Medical Group. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't and they prescribed the protonics. Yeah, but I can't okay. go back to him. Oh, huh. Dr. James P. I. S. C. Oh, Piscatelli. Yeah. yeah. How come you can't go back? Um, he did not, his office, I had my appointment, right? Mm -hmm. Virtual appointment. Uh huh. And unfortunately, it was right before my primary doctor had discharged me. Yeah. And I never knew why I was being discharged from my GI doctor. I'd seen him for like four years. Okay. He sees my brother. Yeah. But somebody had caused medical understanding with Dr. Poplis, which is why I ended up with you. Okay. It just sucks. I hate changes. So does this not want to continue seeing you because your primary was through Buffalo Medical? Like, are I, you you're not able to go to Buffalo Medical Group at all? I, that's what I'm thinking because... Uh, you know that for a fact? Or I don't like know. That? I'm guessing because Dr. Fitzgerald discharged me as well without giving me a, a notice. Is that someone from Buffalo Medical Group? Yeah. Is the doctor is that? He's a GI doctor. Okay, so... And the, the, issue, okay, the okay. other issue is the person who caused medical interference has a dad who is an eye doctor within that group. So I think there was that issue, and that's part of my cyber bullying, that person. Oh, yeah. And she was also... A the oh, by the way... The community with that community of the on the I mean, everybody told me to look YouTube. I just remember if something. If it's just causing anguish and people are being nasty, then don't engage. That's what I would say. But oh, see, what sometimes revenge is just as good when somebody wants to help you with uh, stopping that because I feel like I need a guardian. Okay. Because look, and that's in that letter there that I had written. You know, um, probably like that thing you there. Okay. Um, Are you really planning to be your? I don't. Oh, that's my mom and dad. Yeah. That's okay. my healthcare policy. My mom is primary, my dad is secondary. Oh, um, okay. So you, you wrote Thomas Bitch for alternate, but you didn't write your mom's name for the Look, I mean, it's backwards. My, that's where Dr. Lyons had me want to do, I think, why he wanted me to have someone help me fill that out. Okay, okay. Did you read the address came first? I thought it was the address and then... Yeah, well, you mom, did a good job. You just didn't put your mom's name. That's well, okay. no. Here. What? Oh, oh, I see. Okay, you're right, Janet. Okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my, okay. That's why Dr. Lyons wanted me had someone else to help me with that. Okay. No, you did it. I should have just read a little further down. That's my bad. So you put her name in there. So then I had my mom help me catch that, and my mom also helped me fill that out. So it shows I need help. Yeah, I'll just put an arrow in there. This should be good. This should be good. I'll file it to your chart of okay. copy, but you should have your own copy, and we yeah. can witness it here in the office. I'll have my yeah. witnesses for you. Yes, and I'm also an organ donor with my brain to go to uh, autism research and TBI research. Okay. I know I don't have a TBI, they say, but I still think it should be looked at after I die. It, and I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, me neither. Okay, that's really admirable yeah. to want to do that because the medical community... Um, I think donating your body to science is really, um, you know, a really yeah. great thing. And saving other people's lives also can help people, too. Yeah. When it comes to my tissues and stuff. Oh, for sure. Okay, so you need a new GI doctor because yeah. it sounds like if you're... Going against my religious beliefs to and um, donating my body and 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 donations. Having symptoms of a GI bleed that someone needs to I can help to really. Here's the thing: Do we think going to get the fluoroscopy so at just the same doctor people. clinic yeah. would do it properly two times? No, only the stomach and upper upper uh, esophagus. Okay. He wanted the smallest test in where he felt the GI bleed would come from. Right. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. unfortunately, he needed to do that before doing the camera pill. Okay. And he wanted to do the camera pill 
instead of doing the endoscope. Well, okay. because I am Well, you due... can't see him anymore anyway, right? No, and I am due for an endoscope. Okay, so you need a new GI doctor? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, so what about GI Associates on Maple Road? Have you ever been there? No. Okay, they're my go-to. I'll also give you the number to Dr. Ronnie. Okay. As an alternative option in case GI Associates were for a reason doesn't participate with your insurance or whatever. Yeah. I know you don't want too many options, but I think two is reasonable. Yeah. Um, so I'll list like if I don't, if I lose you, I don't know where to go next. Okay. Other than back to Dr. Fasno, any, um, um, God, sorry. Um, is there any, um, I forgot what to say. So I'll go on to the next one, sorry. No, sorry. Um, can we, can you, um, what is the diagnosis you have of mine for the mental health stuff? Okay, so, um, uh, autistic disorder, mixed receptive expressive language disorder. So that's combined with the autism? They're listed separately, and then a tick disorder also, all three of those are listed. Kim, I ask you a question, and I know this sounds, makes me sound like I'm normal and I'm not. The DSM-5 states that autism spectrum disorder has the language disorder with it specified. As part of it? Yeah. So you feel like they shouldn't be listed separately because it's all in one? That's what the DSM-5 says. Just like okay. the uh, uh, intellectual disability that I don't know if I have or not. Okay. So the, you feel like the, if, by putting the diagnosis of autism, it, it includes the tick and the... No, not, no, no, not the, the English part. But the intellectual disability, do I have that issue or no? I can put that on here. Because yeah. I so do you think, store, okay, so should we keep, we should keep tick disorder, we should keep autistic disorder. I should remove the mixed receptive expressive language disorder because it's redundant. It's the same as saying autism. Uh, think? No, it is not. Okay, so if you help explain it then. Okay, sure. Just let me know. Okay, what I should put on the yeah, and I got, first call, it's my G-Bond person. Okay, let's call it right hand. Sorry. Sorry, I got two people. Hi, this is Erica. What's up, Hi, this is with Andrew in the B. I just want to clarify what diagnoses I should include in his medical record or his problem okay. for our office because I'm very confused. <laughs> As to what the working okay. diagnosis is, because I feel like based on the records I read, it said different things. So I just want to be on the same page as what you understand. Okay. So there's a medical understanding for him, and then there's um, a mental health understanding, right? Okay. So the medical understanding, the reason why central auditory processing, the speech and language, is disorder of receptive and expressive language. Right. And I have that listed separately from autism because I think they're different, but... I they know. are. <laughs> Maybe, it's not my specialty, I admit, but I have patients with processing disorders that are not autistic and vice versa, so I feel like they should both be included. Right, so autism is neurodevelopmental, mm -hmm. and so we have to keep that there. Right. Okay. The, the CAP for the central auditory processing and the expressive language disorder. Right. That has to be there as well. See, and that is the problem there. So am I missing something? Is there a third one I should put in? There, no, no, no. There is not for the, the brain piece. Okay, sure. then, we have, then we have the diabetes. Oh, I we have the... Yeah. Right, so the, the problem in his case is that he, what he's searching for, Dr. Schneider, is in the most simplest language. His medical and mental health records are all over the place in diagnosis. I know. And so, tell me about it. Tell me about it. <laughs> I mean, it, it, to say it's a hot mess is an understatement, right? So how, do we we got, these, how do we uh, <laughs> simplify or consolidate? I don't right. know the answer. Those pieces, for sure, those three diagnoses have to be indicated because, Andrew, most of the time when intellectual challenges are said, that language came from an IQ standpoint, right? Andrew's IQ is 87. So what happens is most of the time intellectual challenges are usually 70 and below. 
Well, then there was a change, Andrew, in how we describe people with cognitive and processing issues. And people use things interchangeably. I need those three diagnoses to be there. Because those three diagnoses actually show a comprehension of problems, right? So, so the central auditory processing disorder, autistic disorder, and then intellectual disability. Right. It, well, right. You can put the the expressive language. Because see, what happens is sometimes when you your your system prompts a referral, it it doesn't really. Because I need them to understand. Because what we tr we struggled with in the past eleven months working together is that people did not understand this communication barrier was really a challenge to manage. And so the reason why I also need the expressive language mentioned is so that we can get reasonable accommodation futuristically to any other doctors, right? Yeah. Because that, that's the piece that's difficult. Okay. Because, in a, because if we don't say, hey, he can't always understand what you're saying and he can't always get out the information correctly, then people think he's a different kind of person. Yeah. Okay. Right? And so we're, that's why I'm like, you could put in the lecture challenge or not, but the three areas of expressive language, receptive, the autism, and the cap, that is totally indicating intellectual cognitive processing issues. But I need so them to see him as a third person yeah. versus... Yeah. So, <laughs> so central auditory processing disorder, autistic disorder, and then... Mixed receptive expressive language disorder, is that redundant to the central auditory processing, or should I list that as well? No, no, that's separate. Is separate. Is okay, and then so intellectual disability, is that categorized as mild, moderate, severe, profound, other? What should I put? <laughs> I can't list that even. I don't want these problems. I want schizophrenia. I just. I don't want to go to a noisy group home. 